Hello, ladies and gentlemen. On today's video, I'm gonna show you how to update um, this computer or any other computer. This is actually a, let me bring it up, a Dell Latitude E70 470. And as you can see right there, I, um, I'm proving to you that if you try to update from Windows 10 to Windows 11, this is when, this is going to pop up. And I have two different ways how I updated this computer. One is making a fresh um, start, like erasing everything and just installing Windows 11, which I'm going to run through with you. I'm, that's going to be the first thing I'm going to show. And then the second method where you make a bootable disk and you remove just one file to bypass this screen. So stay tuned and here we go. All right, so I just made the bootable disk. And just in case you're wondering where you can go, right here, Windows 11, what you wanna do is to make the bootable disk, you go to create Windows 11 install installation media. This is the one you wanna select, just press download and then I'll make the bootable disk. All right, so now I'm gonna show the first method where you restart the computer and you try to, and you start it by pressing F12. Okay, here I'm pressing F12. So it's preparing boot mode. And here you will select right here, this boot option. You see it? That will be the one you would, would, would select to boot. It will automatically pop up like that. So that's one way of doing it. We're gonna open up File Manager. Okay. File Manager. And um we're gonna be look we're gonna look for an uh a file call. That's the file that pops up when it says that the, your device does not um is not up to date with Windows 10, I mean Windows 11 requirements. So the first thing you want to do to bypass that is turn off your Wi-Fi. And then go search the USB. Once you have it there. You're going to go to sources and you're going to go down and look for the word that I told you. And it should be this one right here. So this is the file you're going to delete. I'm going to get a little closer so you can see it. That's going to be the file you're going to delete. Once you delete it. Once you delete it, um, it's going to get deleted. And then after that, this is the second method of what I was telling you, how you're able to install Windows 11 without a problem if you have a computer which you don't want to lose any file. So now I'm going to show you that. I can literally bypass that problem. So I'm gonna go to my setups. And usually when you get, when you do this, right when it says um, um, updates, checking for updates, right away that screen is gonna pop up. It's gonna tell you, oh, Windows 11, doesn't meet the requirements, blah, 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 blah. But on this, you're gonna see that I'm gonna get the agreement. Once you get the agreement, that means you're good to go. So here we are. We're gonna install Windows 11, just so I can show you that it works. And if you worry about that file, once you update Windows 11, it's automatically gonna 
downloaded a gun. So So here we are, as you can see, boom. Without a problem, it bypassed the whole error message and all that. So thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. Goodbye.